G'day guys, just a quick update to see how the foaming went. So, as you can see we've sprayed here. We've got Glenn here. Say hello Glenn. G'day, how you going? So Glenn, what are you doing here? You're... What I'm doing now is the excess foam that's come past the studs, I'm trimming it off so it's all ready for lining. If you pan to your left a bit, you'll see some we haven't done yet. Yep. So, that way it's all be lined and cleaned off and we don't have any problems with the adhesive bonding. That's the final part of the whole job. And we can see here, here's a wall you've trimmed, level with the stud, nice, nice and even to let the cladding go on. That's an external wall where we had to go right to the end. These are some internal walls. Where we just, didn't, just for condensation. We didn't have to go as far, so just for condensation. So, Glenn, tell us uh, in 25 words or less, why, why foam is better than, say, a pinch back style insulation? Oh, that's an easy question. Basically, the, uh, the air sealing ability of the foam is the big part of it. Um, convection pulls hot air to cold, as you remember from your days at school science. Uh, a bat is a fibrous material that allows air to move through it. So the hot and cold air gets drawn into the bat, so that cushion of hot air is always changing in the bat, whereas foam, being an airtight product, doesn't do that. It allows the, it holds that cushion there constantly, so you get a bit of efficiency out of it, and that's the big reason why. Yeah, so not only do you get the insulation, but you're actually getting an air seal yeah. on the building as well. And it bonds to every substrate, fills every little nook and cranny, so you don't have any areas that don't have foam in them. Cool, and uh, where do people find you, Glenn? Website or something? Uh, Sprayitsolutions.com.au Yeah, great, thanks mate. No worries.